April 2030 is our commitment to deliver a positive impact on climate, nature, and people while growing as a sustainable producer of fiber and pulp-based products. By 2030, we will achieve net zero carbon emissions from all our land use, positive and measurable gains in nature, and zero extreme poverty in our communities, and positioning our business for sustainable growth for the next 10 years. With the COVID-19 pandemic, investment in nature, climate, and sustainable development assumes even a greater urgency. Business has an opportunity when seized decisively to boldly transform the future for the better. And now is the time to take bold actions and support the Indonesian government in achieving its climate and development targets. Reflecting on the lessons of the past decade, we all know that addressing the greatest challenge of our time requires collective action on the ground. We need to harness our passion for advocacy and go beyond computer screens. We need to take actions now, learn from the challenges on the ground, and only then will we achieve lasting solutions with concrete and measurable results. There are moments in our history that we all would look back to and ask ourselves if we did what we should or could have done to alter humanity's course for the better. I feel this would be one such moment. We know we need to drastically improve our impact on climate, while at the same time achieve zero poverty. And my role is to ensure that as a business, we can say, and to heart, that we responded to this call and acted boldly, even in the most uncertain of times. We've always been committed to using the best science, technology, operating practices, and producing the best products in the world. April 2030 is us doubling down on that, and our commitment and targets are ambitious, but also achievable. It's about making sure we keep contributing to Indonesia's development, as well as being an active part of the global shift to a lower carbon economy. The time to be bold is now, and we must push forward, and we can't allow today's uncertainties to make us indecisive. As a privately owned business in Indonesia, we're in position to stay the course and implement important decisions about the long-term sustainability of our business. We know that climate change doesn't recognize any boundaries between developed and developing nations. Accelerated action has to be a joint responsibility, and that means we'll need to collaborate to achieve meaningful change. April 2030 builds on the progress we've achieved with our sustainable forest management policy since 2015. And lessons learned from tackling development challenges in Indonesia for more than 25 years. We'll continue to stick to these commitments and go further with April 23rd. I know when I look back a decade from now, we'll have done all that we can to build a better and more sustainable future for all.